Shalom. It's Jeff from Pressure Luck. So, as much as I love my Instant Pot, and we all know how much I love my Instant Pot, it can make a million things, but let's face it, there are some things that just aren't meant to be made in there. And I was looking at my stove the other day, and my stove just looks so sad because I've been neglecting it so much, and my, my Instant Pot has just been like, ha ha ha, stove, Jeffrey loves me more now. And my stove looked at me and said, come on, Jeffrey, what am I, chopped liver? Well, I'll tell you something, you can't really make a great chopped liver in the Instant Pot. So I'm going to take a little special little episode here and spend time on my stove making this wonderful Jewish delicacy, chopped liver. Chopped liver. Uh, no Jewish gathering would ever be complete without chopped liver. And in spirit of Passover week, we are going to make some of the best chopped liver you've ever had. Some people might wince at the thought of having chopped liver because it's like a kind of like a coarse Jewish pate. But my God, is this thing amazing! Let's get started on some delicious chopped liver. So let's start with three good sized Spanish onions, cut into relatively large dice chunks, just like this. Now we want to go to our pan and add one quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. And then after a couple of minutes of the oil heating up, let's add all of our onions to it. Okay guys, so the onions are a huge part of this recipe. You basically have to watch them like a hawk and just stand there for about a good 15 to 20 minutes or so until they're basically browned but not burnt. You want to just keep stirring and then let them sit and then stir and let them sit. It's a patience thing but it's telling you it's worth it in the end. The onions are critical to making this taste the way that classic chopped liver flavors we, we have all come to love. It's so critical to it. So just pay good attention. It's all going to pay off in the end. So then stir the onions around a little bit in the oil. Let's make sure we coat all of the onions with all of the oil. And again, this is gonna be a little bit of a time consuming process. We want these onions to become brown, but not burnt. And then set your oven to broil. And just read one of your uh, favorite books or so while you're stirring the onions and keeping an eye on them until they're nice and brown. Hmm, Sunday in the park with chopped liver. Now, another obviously key ingredient to this recipe are the chicken livers. Now, don't be skeeved out by them. They're critical to this recipe, and they're delicious. And this is about a pound's worth. As you can see, they're super cheap, only $1.72. Any grocery store has them, really. Just uh, go and make sure you then drain these. And then take our beautiful chicken livers. I just drain them, and then just basically put them on a baking sheet with some tin foil, and just lay them down like this, because we're going to broil them. And then take him and just put him right into the oven for about 10 minutes. It's already preheated on broil, as you saw, and uh, 10 minutes. And then while that's happening, just keep on stirring those onions. And as you can see, the onions are starting to turn nice and brown. They're not done yet. We don't want them to burn. Like I said, when they start burning, that's our cue that they're completely finished. And we're getting browner. Nice and brown. Look at that. Not quite done yet, though. And I'm telling you, if you could smell what I could smell, oi vey, mama shame them. All right, so let's get these out of the oven. It's been about 10 minutes. Perfect. Let's let that sit here and cool. Look at that steam coming off of them livers. It says it all. And taking some tongs, we're going to transfer all the livers to a food processor or a blender that's like a food processor, like this guy. And put it in there, just like that. Now let's get our lid on top of our blender or food processor. And now we want to just pulse a few times until all the livers are nice and ground up and in there. We don't want to pulverize this just yet. We're going to mix it later with the onions and an additional ingredient, you'll see. And there we have it, nice and ground up in there just how we want it. You don't want to keep your hand down on there because you don't want it to basically become a puree, unless you do. But that typical Jewish style of chopped liver has a little bit of coarseness to it, you know? All right, so back to the onions. We should just be about finished with them. And just keep stirring. See how beautiful and brown these are? They're getting really, really beautiful and colored as how we want them to be. Not burnt yet. This entire time, by the way, this has been on a medium heat on the stove top. But we're going to be doing this, like I said, between 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, because every stove is different. Like I said before, this is so critical to the recipe of the onions. It has so much of the flavor from that amazing chopped liver that we all know and love. Um, again, it's so easy. You just have to keep stirring it for a little bit of time. So, worth every second. They're, these are done. When they look like this, they are done. So let's get the heat off. And now, let's transfer them to the uh, food processor. Now we want to get every last onion and every last scrape of oil that's in that pot into this food processor slash blender because again the flavor comes from these onions let's get it all in there 
Get in there! Get in there! Every last drop of oil, scrape it all out and right into the food processor. And the final ingredient to go in there are going to be four hard-boiled eggs that I've just chopped up. And I've made, this is actually, the Instant Pot did play a little role in this one. I made them in the Instant Pot using the hard-boiled egg recipe. Just look at my other video for that, just search for my hard-boiled egg recipe. Cut up four of them and then add them to the food processor or blender, just like that. Put the lid back on, just like so, and again, pulse. So then just take a spoon and then just make sure everything gets a little bit of like a little whirl inside. Make sure everything gets pressed down so we get everything nice and mixed up and basically pulverized in there. Put the lid back on. Go back into our chopping. And then for the very end, we want to basically just leave your hand on there for a few seconds. It's not going to be like pureed. It's going to be like in that nice, thick, creamy, slightly coarse consistency. And then one more final mix of everything in there. While the lid is off, we're going to add a little bit of some kosher salt. Again, it's Passover after all. This will season it up a little bit. It's like, oh, like about that much. And you could do it to taste. And a little bit of pepper if you want some of that in there too. Just a few shakes. And you put the lid back on top. Okay. And there's our chopped liver, folks. Beautiful. We're going to transfer that now to a bowl. Just get all of it right into that bowl. Perfect. What we want to do is we're going to want this to set and cool. So you want to put this in the fridge for a solid two hours um, because obviously we don't serve chopped liver hot. We serve it nice and cool. And uh, things tend to get saltier when they cool down in the fridge. It's going to be perfect, guys. And now we're going to send this home by adding some seasoned salt to it. About that much, just like that and then just stir it in with the rest of the chopped liver. Give it a taste. Make sure you're happy with the seasoning levels. Oh. Mama's gonna be proud of her boy chick. Let's cover that with a lid, and then into the refrigerator to get nice and firm and cooled up you go for a couple hours. And after that, I deserved a nice, long, relaxing nap. A really good tip about making chopped liver is to make it at nighttime and then just put it in the refrigerator so it just chills overnight. It's so much easier and you're less tempted to have to go into the refrigerator and keep trying it while still trying to get cool. So it takes a couple hours for that to really happen, but do it before bed, let it sit in the refrigerator and chill overnight, and then the next morning it's going to be like Christmas, or I should say Hanukkah morning. Alright, let's get it out of the refrigerator where it's been chilling overnight, and uh, let's see how that baby came out. Oh yeah, now that is some beautiful, beautiful chopped liver. Let's try it. I should mention that no chopped liver would be complete without some tam-tams to dip inside of it. Tam-tams are basically like, like uh, these hexagonal shaped um, matzo crackers. These are an uh, onion flavor. And so what we do is we take the tam-tam, we take the chopped liver, we dip it ooh, just like that inside, and here we go. Moment of truth. It's like I was just bar mitzvah again. Oh my god. This is the that this is the best chopped liver I've ever had. And that includes going to kosher butchers. What an incredible, incredible recipe. It was um found from some woman named Merge on, a, on one of the, the um, food um, websites. It's an unbelievable recipe. It couldn't be easier. You just got to attend to those onions. Guys, for more like these, if you want to feel, um, I don't know, a little closer to, uh, to I don't know, heaven, go to Pressure Luck Cooking at Facebook. That's facebook.com backslash Pressure Luck Cooking. And, oh my God, forget about just having it at Passover. You can have it anytime. But, oh, oh my God, mazel tov.